Hello everyone, Vengat here. Today we are going to target the lower abs. Let's jump into the workout. The first workout is, wait, 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 wait. We have to warm up the abdomen area indirectly. After that, we will move on to the workout. I prefer one set of plank followed by plank abduction. Because plank is easy for me, so I do plank abduction, which is little challenging than plank for another two sets. If you are able to do plank more than one minute, it may be easy to you. So move on to the plank abduction. Do 12 to 15 count of plank abduction for two sets. Don't move the hip while raising your one leg. Because if you compensate the balance with the hip movement, there won't be any use in moving from plank to plank abduction. So maintain a strict form which means no other movements except your hip joint. The first workout is hip turn cycling. To start the workout, keep your palms firmly by pressing the ground. Lift your head and upper area of the back. Make a slight concave shape. The major mistake will be anterior pelvis tilt. Keep your hip flat by tilting your pelvis little posterior to get full contraction in your lower abs without any back pain. Activate the transverse abdomen which is like a belt below the rectus abdomen. To activate this, remember how you tie your belt to make the pants stable in your hip. So by doing this, you are pulling your lower part of the abdomen towards the pelvis. When the transverse abdomen is activated, you will achieve a flat lower back and concentration will be more on the lower part of the abdomen. If you are feeling any pain in the neck muscles, you can rest your head down. Start the cycling movement and tilt your hip towards the right and left without stopping the leg movement. While doing this workout without turning your hip, you will get the work done in abs. But by turning left and right, you will work the lower area of the turning side oblique as well. Keep your thighs away from the hip or lower abs because as it gets closer, you will feel little easy. But if you are a beginner, you can bring it close because without the strength in the hip flexors and abdomen, thighs away will be difficult. After finishing this 12 to 15 count, have a 10 to 20 seconds break and move on to the next workout which is cross scissors. The starting position is same as the previous workout. Raise both your legs, don't forget to keep the hip flat and start the movement by bringing one leg cross under the raised leg without touching the ground. Maintain a slow and controlled movement. Activate your transverse abdomen as mentioned before. Don't raise your leg too much high and don't keep the leg too much low which may reduce the range of movement by the legs hitting the floor. After finishing this workout for 12 to 15 count, take 10 to 20 seconds rest and start the next workout. The next workout is knee press dead bug. In this workout, bring your one side knee and hand in contact. Using the hand, oppose the knee. You should press harder to stop the knee coming towards you. By doing like this, you will get a nice contraction in your abs. But the other side of the hand and leg should move away from the body in a straight line. Hold the position for 2 seconds and change the sides. Maintain a slow and controlled movement and don't forget to keep your lower back flat. Repeat it for 12 to 15 count and have a 10 to 20 seconds break then move on to the next workout. The final workout is oblique leg rise. In this workout, start with the side plank position by bending both your knees. Extend one leg, activate your obliques and raise your leg. The movement initiation should start with the oblique, so raise your leg by squeezing your oblique muscles. Due to this side plank position, the oblique facing the floor also works isometrically. Then change the sides. Make sure that your body is in a straight line and don't let your hips down. For beginners, each exercise 3 sets of 12 counts with 20 to 30 seconds rest between each set and 30 to 40 seconds rest between each exercise. Intermediate 4 sets of 12 to 15 counts with 20 to 30 seconds rest between each set and 30 to 40 seconds rest between each exercise. For advanced, 3 to 4 cycles with a minimum rest of 10 to 20 seconds between each workout. Ok guys, that's all for today's video. Here we not only targeted the lower abs, we targeted overall abs and obliques as well. Enjoy the workout, we'll see you in another workout video. 
have a happy and healthy lifestyle